Hey there everyone, this is Clark from Spiffy Apps. Today we're going to be looking at an app called Glitch. And if you're into photography, this is an excellent app. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got in store. And as you can see, a very colorful splash, ready to go. We can get some photos into this app and we're going to manipulate it a little bit. As you can see, there's plenty of effects to explore. But firstly, I need to mention that there's not really any ads in this app. And that's a good thing, it has a premium version that you can purchase for $3.50. This unlocks a lot of the templates that they have in the scroll bar over here. So for this personal example, for this video, I'm going to use a picture of my little Android figurine I have. So let's go ahead and load, whoop, load from gallery. We'll click the camera icon up in the top right corner, load from gallery. And then we'll go ahead and select my good old Android here. He's looking pretty cool. <laughs> and as you can see, you can actually click the photo behind the effects, and that way it'll bring it up. Now you can press back. I accidentally applied a glitch effect to this photo. If you press back, then you don't have to worry about it saving it. it. You can actually take it away, undo pretty much everything that you do do. So let's go over to our effects and let's mess around with it a little bit. My personal favorites to begin with is Hacker. Hacker is probably my favorite because you could do a lot of stuff with it. So basically what you got to do is take your finger on the touch screen and just kind of draw it out. I'm just going to draw it here and let's say that we wanted the Android figurine to disintegrate into the desk. It kind of gives it the effect. It's a really cool, neat looking aspect to this photo. <laughs> As you can see, it's quite digitized. Uh, pretty neat. Uh, the only thing that I wish they would have is like maybe some layout filters, maybe some contrast adjustments and stuff like that. It'd be pretty cool, but unfortunately they do not have that. So let's go over, let's actually deapply this effect and let's go back over to our effects panel and we'll select another one. We'll try triangle this time. This one's a little bit different. Um, it applies like a triangle vector effect to us. So we'll just go ahead and start painting on here. <laughs> kind of neat looking abstract. Be something really cool to kind of post on Instagram. You know, if we actually took the time to make it look nice. Unfortunately, I'm not very artistic when it comes to drawing or glitch effects. In fact, I would probably use a filter. So let's go over here to VHS and try that. Now, unfortunately, I did not unapply that effect, but you can stack effects. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the slider up a little bit so that it does fade into the image. It looks like a VHS, sort of. But then if we add some other effects down here, these optional effects, it really begins looking like a VHS. And the timestamp that it does put on here is real time. AM is actually the time. 3 AM is actually the time that I'm doing this video. So it's kind of cool. And it actually shows the date and a little play icon down there. It's pretty cool. So with that said, this app is pretty cool. Uh, for free, you know, you can get all of these effects. There's about 15 or 20 effects. I'm not really sure the exact number on it. Maybe if we had a little bit more, it would be much better. But, you know, that's why they offer the premium version for $3.50. You could do things like MP4 videos and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. I highly promote that. If you're into motion graphics, most definitely some of those glitch effects would be pretty cool. Um, but we'll explore one more before we do go over the cons and the pros of this app. So here, if you just hold down on the touch screen, it does this crazy thing where it just goes through a bunch of glitches. What I usually do to apply this glitch, it's called Rubric. I think it's uh, Rubric. Is that right? Uh, Rubik Cube, yeah. So I, thought, <laughs> I don't know why I should have associated that with the Rubik Cube that was depicted in the effects panel. So anyway, if you just tap this once, it will cycle through a bunch of different randomization glitches. So a bunch of random glitches kind of appear on your screen and how you want to do it. So this one looks pretty wild. Uh, some of them, like this one's not too bad. There's maybe a little bit of a glitch there. I want something a little bit more abstract, probably something like this. And then you can actually go over here to the icon next to the camera and you could save it. So it's saved to my storage. That's pretty cool. It's ready for Instagram later on. So basically everything's pretty much packed into this app. Everything you would need for distortion, 
or other goodies. I thought Glitch was pretty cool. Something to really look into. Um, but pretty much, I think that's all that I'm going to show you on the app. You can actually, oh, and there's also this other option. You can increase the resolution of your photos. So if you click resolution, you can change the resolution. But unfortunately, if you want a higher resolution, they have locked that into the premium version, which is fine because you get a 1000 by 1000 pixel resolution for your personal photos that you've done on the free version. I thought that was pretty cool. And I haven't really seen any watermarks or anything like that. So that's really good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the app in a nutshell. I will give you three things now that I liked about the app. I personally thought it was a nifty app, very unique, uh, something you don't really see on the Google Marketplace very much. And if there is other options, then they're not really that great. I've tried a few of them just to kind of mess around, but I could not find anything that would replicate the cool abstract, I guess, emphasis that this app does. Uh, next thing I would say, the resolution seems pretty viable for personal use. The 1000 by 1000 is excellent. It'd be great for profile pi profile pictures and other things like that. Some square imagery. Kind of cool. Uh, the third thing, I'd say $3.50 for this app is not too bad. But it's something that I would want more out of. I wouldn't use this app very much. I'd probably use it for an Instagram post or even some Facebook posts, but that's really all I'd about use it for. $3.50. I mean, heck, if you really enjoy the app, it'd be more about supporting the developer than it would the actual app itself. Now, I'd say uh, the things I disliked about the app, it's fairly limited effects. You only have 15 or 20 effects on the personal version which it can still be unlocked for $3.50, and still there's, you know, limited effects. I mean, the MP4 is pretty cool. That's a pretty massive effect that I haven't really even explored into yet. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would say it's pretty limited. Uh, my second con, I'd say that there is there have been some instances, like instances where I have closed out a photo and dragged into another one. Um... And then the effects was still applied to it. So like I would go to this image and then I would go to open another image. Let's see if I can actually do it right here. Uh, let's go ahead and load from gallery and let's go to just the plain old, see, it still applies the VHS. So there's a minor bug in the system, something to kind of be aware of if you end up opening up another photo. And the third con, I would say, uh, the double back closes the app is really awkward. Um, you know, I think maybe it was intended for people who want to get in here and I guess get out really quick. So I could just double back space here. Uh, let's see here. There we go. And it, it does come up with a prompt, but it's a little bit annoying. Maybe just a little bit buggerish, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and click OK and close that app out because I'm pretty much done. That is all in a nutshell. So guys, hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like. And then also, if you want to stay tuned and hang around for a while, subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting more videos about apps in the future. Guys, have a wonderful day. I appreciate your time. Take care.